Hey, what's up guys? So today is day two of the TikTok 10 day challenge. It's been a great first day guys. A lot of people are posting their TikToks. Now, if you don't know what the 10 day TikTok challenge is, we're basically posting TikToks every single day for the next 10 days. And I'm actually giving out $7,000 worth of my money. I'm giving out courses, mentoring, Yeti microphones, HD cameras, lighting for YouTube studio, Amazon gift cards, a bunch of different things. So I'll let you know how you can get into the TikTok challenge, even though it's day number two today. So this is day number two. So basically we have 10 days of this challenge and all you have to do is post two videos and then one duet. So technically three videos. The goal is to help you guys grow your TikTok, almost forcing you to create content because content is what literally changed my life and allowed me to quit my nine to five job, okay? So this was day number one, or this today's day number two, but if I go to, let me just go to the first post here. Day number one, you can see over 350 people have posted their videos, okay? Now, what I want you to do, right, I say post two videos in the comments here, then you're gonna duet one video, okay? So basically three videos total, and then you're gonna wanna use one of these hashtags here for the competition, okay? We're doing $7,000 in prizes, including mentoring, coaching. My number one prize is my $5,000 group coaching and mentoring. YouTube program hasn't been released yet. Ton of different prizes though. If I go up to the top here, first place here, we got second place um, all the way to 15. So a lot of ways to win. Again, the prizes are more to give you an added incentive to, to grow your business, okay? Because at the end of the day, the reason we're doing this is to help you grow your business. Even if you don't get any sales within these next 10 days, that's okay because as long as you're consistent with this, you will eventually see success, okay? And I, and I could almost guarantee that anyone can see success as long as you're consistent, okay? I wanna kind of audit some people here. I said that I would do some free audits. So uh, the first 10 that dropped their account. So let's just go through and let's start with the first one here, okay? So basically I wanna know specifically what you need help with. Sorry, I didn't know it was a thing. Hopefully this works. Okay, let's just take a look. Now guys, when I do audits like this, it's really important that you let me know exactly what you want me to look at, okay? As an entrepreneur, you have to be really good at asking questions, okay? Not just being very general. You have to be very specific on what you need to know, okay? Okay, so here it is here. I don't know what this account is about, man. So you don't have a bio. Honestly, you definitely need to work on the bio, okay? Let people know you know, uh, the three W's, right? The three W's, so who you are, what you do, okay? And why they should follow you. You don't have that, you don't have a link here. I have no idea what this account's about. Just looking at this, like, this looks like random videos. I don't know if you're in the TikTok challenge or not, man, but I have no idea, okay? I, you just said you wanted help. I don't know what you're trying to do here. I don't know if you're in the TikTok challenge. I don't even know if you're an affiliate marketer. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know what you're trying to promote what the goal is of this. So we need to be very specific on what's going on with this account, okay? But anyways, let's go to the next one here because uh, we're gonna wanna be more specific on that, all right? Let me let me switch to Brandon here because uh, if you guys can put your link inside of here, that way I can just get on it, okay? So let me see what he is asking. So my weak points and to improve it. Okay, we can take a look at that, okay? Um, so first thing I look at is, I like to look at the bio, you know, um, are we answering the questions, who you are, what you do, and why they should follow you? really important because when people go to your bio, you want to know who you are. So you're a business owner. Okay. That, that's okay. So you're an affiliate, how to start your own business. Okay. So bio is not bad. I think we can maybe work on this. I always like to put some sort of pain point in here. So how to start your own business without having a product or without having to, you know, with only working a few hours a day, right? Always, always think about that pain point uh, when, when you're getting people to, to take action, right? Copywriting 101. Very, very important guys. So um, anyways, Let's take a look here, man. So let's see, you're getting some traction here. Let me see what your link is going to. Not a big fan of the of the beacon or the link tree. Myself, I like to drive people to one link and one link only. And then you have all this on the back end, right? So we have, you know, you, 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 I see you're trying to get them to get response, but why would they want to go to get response? There's no reason for them to go to get response, right? Like they don't know why they need that, okay? That's why we want to get, get them in a system or, or in some sort of business that teaches them how to use get response right we're not going to be just saying them to a get response link there's no reason for them to to use it right they don't have any use for it unless they are starting a business right you don't really need this TikTok, right they're already coming from your TikTok. i would honestly get rid of the beacon man and just get drive people to your domain and get people on your page first okay i'm not a big fan of this i know a lot of people do it not a big fan, I don't teach this, so I uh, just wanna let you know. One last thing, I'm gonna click on this. Okay, so you do have your own affiliate page here. Okay, good. 
All right, good. So that's good. Let's just take a look at the content itself, okay? Change your reality, make money online, uh, escape the nine to five. So what I'm seeing is, uh, you know, you're getting a decent amount of views on these ones here. I would look at your top ones, you know, the ones with the most views, maybe like this one and this one. And look at which views got the most and look at the hashtags that got the most views, okay? So if I go over here, this make money online is too big, okay? So I'll tell you that right now, 900 and 74 million views. What you wanna work on is getting shown with the smaller hashtags first and then start working on those bigger hashtags. That would be my biggest recommendations for you, Brandon, all right? Let's take a look at Alan Perez. He's a Freedom Breakthrough student, so I wanna get him in here as well. So let's take a look at Alan Perez, okay? Affiliate entrepreneur, teaching anyone to make money, link in Instagram, okay? so. You probably have a link in Instagram because I can't see it on my page here, which is fine. I understand you probably don't want to use a business page. That, that's fine as well. Okay. So, so what you need to focus on is getting a ton of views to get to a thousand followers. So you get the link in your bio, right? Unless you switch to a business account, you can actually add a link before a thousand subscribers. I know a lot of people say to use greater account instead of a business. Um, that's going to be up to you. I think for me, I like to have the link. So, possibly think about changing to a business, but this is okay. Cause you have the link in your Instagram. Okay. But talk about who you are, man. I know you're an affiliate entrepreneur, but like, are you still working a nine to five job? Or like for me, I, I put something like, you know, from an ex engineer to affiliate marketer, right? Who was I before? Who are you now? Right? But let's take a look at the content, man. And where we I like the hook, man. That's a good hook. I like the element of the hook. Okay. This is a great hook. Okay. Tired of slaving away at the nine to five job. That's perfect. Okay. I think the only thing we could take a look at here is possibly the hashtags. I think you may be using too big of hashtags is what I would be kind of looking at. I would try to focus on hashtags that don't have as many views, right? This has 20 million views. So you can eventually use those, bro. Uh, I, Cause I think your videos are good. Like they look good. I, I, it looks like you're modeling success, okay? But unless you're not, unless you're in the top even 10 to 20 in here, I wouldn't use those really big hashtags, okay? I would use something a little bit less uh, views, like, a, like 100,000 views. The goal would be for you to rank for the hashtags that you can rank for first and then work on the ones like these here, work from home jobs 2020, okay? My guess is possibly, let me see, laptop lifestyle, it looks like another big one as well. See, 19 million views. See, if you're not in the top 10 here, I really wouldn't mess with these hashtags, okay? Because you're not gonna get the reach you want, okay? So that would be my biggest recommendation. I like the content, okay? I think the content is great. I think you just gotta focus on getting more exposure out there. Uh, I like the links. Okay, cool. So your call to action is just follow. I understand you don't have a link yet. Possibly let them know, hey, go to your Instagram and click the link in my bio, um, unless you switch to a business account. That would be my biggest thing. Like you wanna start building that email list. So definitely start doing that. Yeah, so right here, man, this is good. I know you're modeling. I, I modeled this video as well, so that's perfect. Like this hashtag doesn't go with it. This hashtag doesn't go with it. Just try to get hashtags that are gonna be more relevant to the video itself, like side hustles or work from home jobs. But again, you wanna get ranked for the hashtags that you can rank for, right? You still have a relatively small following, which is fine. Start ranking for those hashtags first, okay? One thing I meant to talk about, guys, is this is what I would do if I were just starting out, okay? So I would go to guys like, you know, Brian Brewer, okay? Brian Brewer is crushing it with, with TikTok right now. I would go to his account here, okay? This is what I teach my one-on-one -on -one students. I want you guys to kind of take action on this, like right now after this video, okay? Go to someone like Brian Brewer and see like, okay, this has 19,000 views, okay? I want you to model his hook. I want you to model his, his top performing videos, right? He's already done the hard work, okay? He's already done the hard work of figuring out what's working. Look at this, okay? 82,000 views. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, first thing in the morning, checking to see how much I made while sleeping. Model that hook. Okay, model what he's doing. The only thing I would do differently is use different hashtags. Okay, hashtags that you can rank for. Okay, uh, same thing when I teach YouTube. You're gonna model videos, but then we're gonna rank for for keywords that are easier for uh, for a smaller channel to rank for. Okay, what what I want to model here is the hook element, right? So the hook is this right here. Okay, first thing in the morning, checking to see how much I made while asleep, and that's directly talking to his target audience, right? He's making money while he sleeps. He's talking to that target audience. He's He does these hooks because he, he's, he's trying to speak to his target audience. Everyone should know who their target audience is 
with this affiliate marketing business, okay? My target audience is people that have worked in a nine to five job, uh, try, trying to get out of that job. You know, a lot of you guys follow me because you're trying to leave the nine to five job. You're trying to create passive income. You know, you may have a family, right? I kind of know my target audience or, you know, I know exactly who to speak to so I can create my hooks on that. So that being said, okay, uh, the next kind of objection I get with trying to model something like this is like, well, I don't have success. I don't have any commissions coming in. Well, we can change that a little bit, okay? So, so the hook here is this here, and this is like the value or the story, right? He's saying how much he made, but what do you say if you didn't make any money, right? Well, you can talk about other people's success. You can talk about, you know, your mentor's successes, right? It's, it's all about talking about the journey and how they can do that, right? And then of course the call to action. So here you got the hook, okay? You got the hook, and then you got the, the, the story or the value part of it. Okay, story, and then you got the call to action, which is, in my opinion, the most important part. You want them to take action, okay? So uh, Brian Brewer is a great one to kind of model. You know, he's getting a lot of people to his affiliate offers. Just model what he's doing, and that's gonna, I promise you, it's gonna really help you be successful. Let's take a look at another one here. Okay, so Jonathan Ma Mace, Jonathan Mace. Okay, so anything would be great. He's a total newbie. Let's take a look at yours, Jonathan. Okay, here we go. Digital marketer revealing tricks and tools to create multiple streams of income. Um, okay, my journey. Okay, let's take a look at some of your hooks. So if you're trying to get more people to your links, you want to have a hook that is speaking to people that have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so the way you want to approach this is like think of a hook that's going to get people to keep watching okay so like think about the actual result that person wants okay so if i were doing this video it'd be like do you want the blueprint that helped me make my first dollar online while i was still working a nine to five job right now it's kind of speaking more to that audience then you can go into the story or the value part of it you show them how or why whatever it is and then the call to action right so so let's take a look at more i think this is a good one here Courtney, why do you think I'm not getting any leads and sales? Let's take a look. There's a, definitely a reason for it, okay? And the good thing is you're asking for help, okay? Most people are won't ask for help. They'll just keep doing the things that aren't working, okay? Let's take a look, Courtney. Let's take a look. Perfect. This is a perfect example. Do you want to start affiliate marketing? I don't know. I don't know what affiliate marketing is. Click the link in the bio to get started, okay? Not really a hook because I don't know. Do you want to start affiliate marketing? What is affiliate marketing, okay? Hit the benefit of affiliate marketing, right? Don't even mention affiliate marketing, guys. A lot of people are saying, go start Legendary Marketer. Go start the three-day challenge. Go start One Phone Away. They have no idea what it is. Create that curiosity. A good copywriter will always create some curiosity, okay? So, for example, okay, do you want to start affiliate marketing? They don't know what that is. So, think about the benefits affiliate marketing offers, okay? So, let's think about this, okay? What does affiliate marketing offer, okay? Well, you can start a business without any products. You can start a business without a team. You can start a business uh, with a few hours a day. Those are the benefits that people love, okay? Now hit that pain point in your hook. Do you wanna start an online business without having any products, having a team, or any experience? Boom, okay, that's your hook, okay? Then, then we go into the story part, okay? Then we go into the story, okay? You can either give them some value or you give them some story. So for me, I like to switch it up. For me, I tell my story. Hey guys, I went from an engineer to a full-time affiliate marketer in just nine months. And I only had to do this a few hours a day, right? And click the link in my bio and I'll show you how. Hook, story, offer. Hook, story, offer, okay? Very simple, most people don't get this point. They continue doing what they're doing, okay? And that's the reason it's not working. But if you follow this framework, it's gonna help you, like no doubt, okay? So let's go back over here. So do you wanna start affiliate marketing? Click the link in my bio, okay? So you went straight from your hook to the call to action. There's no reason for them to click. So that would be my biggest thing is work on the copywriting part of it. And it's okay, Courtney. I mean, I was like that too, right? Like I didn't understand that part of the, this process, okay? Marketing is all about getting people to stop scrolling, right? We know our target audience, hit their pain points, and then give them a reason why they should keep watching, right? Give them some sort of value or give them some sort of story. I like to switch it up, okay? Let's take a look at Daryl's, okay? He's online with us now. Let's take a look at his his copy because he's a brilliant copywriter. He did a email copywriting course for us, uh, I think it was a few months back, guys. Brilliant copywriter. So let's take a look at his stuff, okay? So let's take a look, okay? This video can change your life. Okay, this I like this one here, okay? Check this out. All right, so if you want time for your 
Look at that hook, okay? So he's saying, if you don't want passive income slash time freedom, scroll down. I want passive income. I want time freedom. I want to stick around, okay? There's his hook, okay? Now let's go into the story part of it. All right, so now that we have all the people who want to get rich quick scheme off the video, I'm going to show you how I'm teaching people literally how they can start a six figure year business. What it is. Okay, so I like what he did here. He's saying, now we got all the people that want to make money quick and want like money fast, right? I love this because now this is actually getting the people you don't want, you know, to your funnels. This is actually going to help with conversions. It's a little more advanced, okay? And I happen to have a five step video mini course that shows you step by step how you can start, by the way, that no one takes action. And yeah, so now that we got involved with people who don't want to help themselves, I'm just going to share it with you guys. Just click the link in the profile. Perfect. So he's telling people, hey, this is my five video free course. I'm going to show you how to build a six figure business with affiliate marketing. Click the link in the bio. Boom. Biggest thing though is the hook, right? He gets people to stop, okay? If you guys can get really, really good at your hooks, that's gonna make a huge difference, okay? Know your target audience, know your target audience, and that's gonna make such a huge difference when you start growing, guys. So Daryl's a great guy to model. Go look at his content, guys. Model his hooks, okay? Okay, so now we got No Stress Affiliate. So he is not getting any sales. Let's take a look. So I'll tell you right now, these type of posts don't really do well on TikTok. That's just, I know the platform very well. It, it usually does better if you can actually get on camera. So that's one thing I would try to, uh, maybe you're not comfortable getting on camera, but if you can, I think I think that'll make a big difference for you, my man. I got my peaches out in Georgia. I think the content is great, man. I think if you can use this, possibly just throw your face in there. I haven't seen a very successful non-face TikTok account, okay? Personally, I haven't. Maybe there is, but I haven't. So, you know, if you if you can somehow get to like figure out how you can get on camera and kind of take that leap of faith, I think that'll make a huge difference, my man. But the content's great. I think the content looks good. If you can just like somehow show your face in there, you know, kind of build that trust with people. I think that would be a huge difference, man. Okay, how to improve watch time. Okay, let's take a look here. Watch time is very important, by the way, guys. 4,000 followers. Okay, so he's, uh, he's got a... a decently established account. I like that. You know what she said to me? She said, you're a player, aren't you? And I bet you got hoes. I said, you I mean, man, the, the biggest thing with watch time is, I'm gonna tell you this, you have to just test different things, okay? Cause sometimes I'll get videos that get like 110% watch time, meaning people watched it over and over and some get very low watch time, okay? Now the ones that get like a lot, uh, you know, a lot of watch time are the ones that really can go viral, right? Those are the ones that go viral. Typically the watch time, it needs to be like, if it's a, I think it's between a, a eight to 14 second video, okay? If you can get that watch time above a 95%, you can, you'll typically go viral, okay? With watch time, you gotta create some sort of open loop, right? So you wanna hook them, right? Hook them in the beginning, but then you wanna give them reason to watch to the end, okay? That's gonna be a huge thing, is like, like how can we hook them to watch the end of the video? And that's, it's a called open loop. So you basically say, you know, hey, I'm gonna show you how to make money online without having any products. But at the end of this, I'm gonna give you a secret hack that can make you money today, right? Okay, so let's take a look here. Jennifer. Hey, stop scrolling and listen up. <laughs> okay, so hook here, I would definitely have some sort of, instead of stop scrolling, listening up, uh, or stop scrolling, listen up, instead of that, I would say something that's gonna talk to your target audience again. So, you know, I, I see you're promoting a three-day business challenge, so you know the product, right? It teaches people how to build an affiliate business. So think of that, uh, what's it called, that benefit this will do for them, okay? so. Something I would do possibly would be like, do you want to be able to quit your nine to five job without having to create any products or have a team? And you can only, and you can do this with only a few hours a day. Boom, there's a hook. Someone can use that, okay? I just thought of that one, but I mean, there's that, you, you, you think of the benefits the product offers, right? Another thing is, let me, let me see here, okay? What else do we offer? We teach people how to get traffic, right? So do you want to start a business and get unlimited customers with only working a few hours a day. Okay, boom, there's another hook, okay? So the thing you have to understand is you have to know the benefits of the offer, okay? Really understand the benefits of what the product actually does, and that's gonna help you come up with these amazing hooks, okay? Let's listen to the story part of it. Start 
start a profitable business in only three days using the three day business builder challenge in the link in my bio. This challenge was created by Jonathan Montoya, who is um, the owner of Passive Income Lifestyles. If you don't know, check his page out, but he is a very successful six figure online affiliate marketer. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I think I think you did great on the story value part. Maybe you went too much into the like who I am, I don't think they really care yet. I would just talk more about the benefits it's gonna do for them, right? Hey, I'm gonna show you how, you know, you can mention my name if you want. Jonathan built a six figure business and quit his job in just nine months. And he was able to do that with only a few hours a day working from his laptop, okay? Just go right into it, right into the benefits, why it matters to them, right? At the end of the day, people don't care who you are, who I am, until they actually get in and they're like, okay, you know, they need to build a relationship. People care about how you can help them, and that's just human nature, okay? So if you understand that, you'll kind of learn how to structure your copy based on that, okay? Let's take a look at another one here. Yo, tell me, have you seen a, let me wrap my weave. Okay, so that's good here. So just starting offering one-on-one -on -one help for aspiring affiliates. Again, think of the hook, right? Have you ever started an online business and you got stuck? Then boom, I'm helping 10 people start their online business absolutely free. All you gotta do is click link in my bio, buy the product, reach out to me, I'm gonna help you one-on-one, -on -one, right? So think of the hook again. I'm always thinking of how I can hook that target audience in. I think that'll be such a game changer for you, okay? Okay, so this is Brandon. So free train on YouTube. Okay, let's just take a look at his actual content. No worries, um, we'll take a look at it anyways. I like your hook with an extra $3,000 per month to change your life. So, it looks like you're modeling success, right? So you're modeling people. I've seen this video, so that's perfect, man. You get that's a perfect hook, and it looks like you're just modeling people already, right? Guys like Daryl Gray, Brian Brewer, they have hooks like this, right? And just model what they're doing, guys. Look at the best people, look at their best videos, and just model it. The only thing I would do differently is just change up the um, the, the the hashtags. Okay, these are too big. Okay, instead of online business, do how to start an online business as a complete beginner, right? Something that's less viewed, okay? You wanna rank for those first and then go for the longer for the longer hashtags. Not sure why it looks like your shadow band, it's kind of weird, but man, I think you're doing a great job. Everything looks good. It looks like you're modeling what, already, what people are already doing and that's gonna be a game changer, okay? This is a great hook right here. My entire business revolves around a product I didn't make, a simple website and a few automated modes. Guys, take this hook right now. This is a beautiful hook, okay? Love it, love it, love it. Love it, yeah, that's perfect, man. I think you're doing a great job with your hooks. I would just focus on the hashtags here. I think you just gotta focus on not so many views here. Unless you're, again, unless you're showing up for a lot of these hashtags, don't use those, okay? So definitely use something that is a little bit bigger. What I mean is, so this one here, affiliate marketing has 368 million views. I meant use a longer hashtag that had less views, okay? Maybe less than 100,000 views, okay? Work on getting ranked first and then step it up, right? It's called the step ladder, right? Start with with um, initial one that you can rank for and then and then go to the, you know, if you can rank for a 50,000 view hashtag, go to 100,000 and 200,000. It's a little bit of a process, but eventually you'll get ranked, man. And that's, that's how you do it, okay? All right, I'm gonna do one more here. I'm gonna do Stephanie Blackman. Let's take a look. Just a mom sharing ways to create sustainable passive income. All right, let's take a look at your link here. Fairly new account here. Let's take a look here. People don't really care who you are, and I don't say that in a mean way. Uh, you're like, hey, it's Steffi K. People don't really care about that. Just go right into the content, okay? So just get that part out and just say, hey, here are three tips to be successful with affiliate marketing, okay? Now, I like to go a step deeper and don't even mention affiliate marketing. Here are three steps on how you can build a business from scratch without having any products, right? Don't even mention affiliate marketing. Just mention the benefits of affiliate marketing and then go into it, okay? Let's take a look. <laughs> I love now, that. Two I recommend. One is a 15 day business builder challenge with legendary marketer. You've all heard about that, I'm sure. It's all over TikTok. The second is a three day business builder challenge with Jonathan Montoya. They're both. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. I mean, I, I, I like that first tip, which is like, skip the BS and just go to a structured training so you can learn the right way. And I mean, you could tell them about the 15 or the three day or just tell, just be more mysterious about it, right? Like check out this challenge that literally changed my life. It allowed me to 
create a business without any products and you know they literally teach you how to do this from scratch they, they show you how to do it step by step click by click so you don't get stuck with the tech part of it that's what i would do though guys is, is really focus on the you know the benefits of what affiliate marketing offers i think a lot of people are just talking too much about the actual challenge itself they have no idea what the challenge is keep that mysterious just talking about the benefits of what it offers okay but anyways uh just want to let you guys know that because i think you guys are creating great content it's just like okay let's see how we can be a little bit more mysterious about this and we can get people to take action okay so hopefully that makes sense anyways guys uh it's been a good first day i think i'm really proud of everyone that that has started the challenge i think we're off to a great start so you know, if you haven't yet, go to day number two and post your TikToks here. It looks like we've already had 65 people post, so it's, it's awesome. We're getting people in here, and and the goal is to help each other grow, guys. Help each other grow. But you want to learn, right? You know, if you're, if you're struggling, guys, it's okay. Like, it, it takes time to learn this stuff, okay? It's not like you just post a video, you're going to make a million dollars. It doesn't work that way. You have to learn copyright, and you have to learn how this stuff works. So, um, anyways, just want to kind of mention that if you did forget uh, day number one, don't worry, just go back and, and post your videos in here. You can actually go back and do that. But thank you guys so much for watching and uh, let me know if you guys have any other questions and we'll talk to you guys soon.